Hello everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a top 5. However, this won't be based around my top 5 games or platformers. It will be consisting of my top 5 favorite female video game protagonists. I don't need to say anymore. You know that this is completely opinionated. The order in which I put these characters in does not mean that I feel about these characters in this order. You aren't stupid. Now let's begin. Here I come! Come on! What have we got? Coming in at number 5 will have to be Cat from Gravity Rush, a very interesting character. She wakes up with amnesia after falling in the city, known as Hescaville from above, without any explanation, and gets herself into situations without realizing it, until it becomes an afterthought sometimes. When someone needs help, and I mean actually needs it and not her being taken advantage of, she's smart enough to know when to kick some ass. She's determined to justify certain things and I like that about her. While being oblivious and or sometimes stereotypical in some ways, she still has a unique personality in which I can't describe in words, and I mean unique as in a respectable slash good type of personality. It took a bit for me to get adjusted to the type of character she was. Disregarding that though, she embraces herself as a hero and is also portrayed as the Gravity Queen. Well, because she can control gravity thanks to her cat Dusty. With this gravity, Cat even saved children that were very deep under Hescaville from a powerful Nevi monster called Nushi with the help of another character which I won't spoil for you. Thanks to Cat and the other characters saving the lost children, the whole city or town, Hescaville was saved from impending doom. I'm not gonna spoil anything else. But once you progress through the story of Gravity Rush, you'll really enjoy her character and see that Cat is a very underrated gem. And that is why I put her in this top 5. Oh, and I forgot to mention the fact that she's actually one of my favorite characters to use in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Number 4 goes to Coco Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot's sister. Coco is intelligent, smart, she rode a tiger over the Great Wall of China, a jet ski, went into space and fought Engine. She's awesome. And you can't forget that she is also the reason why Crash Bandicoot saves the world. In Crash Bandicoot 4, The Wrath of Cortex, she made a portal chamber so that Crash can put the elementals back into their hibernation states by going to various parts and events of the world. She tags along in the adventure as well. In Crash Tag Team Racing, thanks to Coco's deductive reasoning and analyzing, Crash Bandicoot was able to stop Willy Wampa Cheeks and Astro Land, thus ending the story. Plus, at the end, she returned the park ownership to Ebenezer Von Clutch, which shows how kind-hearted she is. In Crash Mind Over Mutant, Coco Bandicoot went and made Dr. Neo Cortex's Duminator Eye into an entertainment system, then hacked the Duminator Eye afterwards and changed it into a Bandicoot Defense Force spying device to find out what Dr. Cortex and Nitrous Brio were up to. Now tell me, what other Bandicoot can do that? Coco just has that Jimmy Neutron brain mindset, which is probably a reference, and overall, that's why she takes this spot on the list. She's just amazingly smart. Taking the cake at number 3 is Kira from the Jack and Daxter series. She's the daughter of Samos Hagai. Kira has a bunch of ingenuity, she's known as a mechanic, inventor, and racer. This sounds very similar to Coco Bandicoot. I actually see it as an intentional concept, especially with the inventor and racer talents with the intelligence being thrown in there. I literally see Kira as a reincarnated Coco Bandicoot, except less of an animal. But disregarding that, Kira is evidently confident in herself, which is something that a lot of girls lack in today's society, unfortunately. Kira went through a lot of stress after going to a very dystopian future in Jack 2, plus losing her friends and family, specifically Jack and Daxter and her dad, Samos. However, in Jack X Combat Racing, her confidence was boosted back up after standing up for herself against her own father. Samos didn't want Kira to race due to the situation being very dangerous, but she was determined, which shows bravery, and I respect her for that. And you know, this actually relates to 
real life human beings because that shows progression as a human being. With all of that information taken in, this is the reason why Kira is on a top five list. Faces in the garage fixing cars. You can't protect me forever. Someday I'll show you. Not today you won't. No racing, that's final. I can't risk losing my little girl. I'm not your little girl anymore. You'll see. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm always fine. Look, you boys have what it takes to win out there. Thanks, baby. I meant the car. Number two belongs to Ellie from The Last of Us. At first, I thought she was just a douchey brat, but boy, oh boy, was I wrong. You see, Ellie is what I would like to call A-G-T-A-T-R, a girl that applies to reality. It's a bit different in The Last of Us. Ellie is a 14-year-old girl who was introduced to Joel by Marlene when she, along with Joel and Tess, tried to find a recruit, but it turns out, to Joel's surprise by a little, Ellie was the recruit. After which, Joel and Ellie's relationship is not that good in the beginning, and no, I am not going to spoil anything, but I will say that Joel and Ellie's friendship develops throughout the story. Now, from what I just said, it's not that bad, it's just that you have to see how their friendship develops. Ellie's one of my favorite female video game characters, simply put. She's brave, confident, cute of course, and her personality is honestly something I have never, ever witnessed in person with another female, which is honestly mind-blowing because at first I thought this was gonna be another one of those titles with the female in the game that just does things that I've already seen in video games, but I was wrong. Mind you, this is from my perspective, but you get what I mean. Anyways, Ellie is one of those characters that will take some time to crack into for her to open up and reveal certain shit. None of that bullshit that you get in reality where the girl is making excuses just to pass by and have this quote-unquote friendship so that she can take advantage of you and overall just play you for the rest of your life. Ellie is not a bitch, and that is why she comes at number two on the list. I can't believe I almost forgot about her. Number one is Shantae, the half-genie hero. Shantae is a platformer, as well as a definite cult classic in gaming. By belly dancing, Shantae can transform into a monkey, crab, spider, mermaid, elephant, and a harpy. That's six different forms. Each of them give her different abilities in order for her to get through certain obstacles. But enough about her abilities. Shantae's personality is what truly captures my attention. She's cautious, lovable, cute, understanding, and as weird as it sounds, Shantae honestly gives me this strange feeling and or thought that I've talked to someone like this before. Or I actually may find a person exactly like this or similar to this in the future someday. And this is the only character out of the other four that's doing this too. You see, it's one of those situations where Shantae is portraying a female outside of video games but you just don't know who exactly. I don't know, maybe it's just me but it feels like there's a twist to this character. She has a personality in which she isn't repetitive to the point where as though you can't adapt or familiarize with her and she knows when to be... I guess you could say consistent to a true self depending on the situation. Shantae, just like the previous two females in the list, grew confidence as the story progressed throughout the series. What I find funny about this, however, is that she actually finds herself as a bad role model because she has a bad temper and fashion sense. While it's a bit funny, I actually find it quite attractive in a sense. I say that because it shows that a girl or woman, a female in general, can admit without any problem that their flaws or what can affect them as a person. That's straight up honesty. If you want to be a role model, you shouldn't be having flaws that can affect other people's futures. You'll be responsible for the consequences, but it depends on the situation. In Shantae's defense, it's good that she acknowledges that certain flaws can affect others since she, well at least what I'm thinking, wanted to be a role model, but she isn't focused on that. Her main priority is to get closer to her mother since that's literally been the main objective all along. This is why Shantae is at number one. She's a respectable character but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this top five tell me what you guys think and tell me your top five favorite female video game protagonists or characters in the comment section below i'll catch you guys in the next upload coming to the channel and i really hope you guys enjoyed this deuces